So everything I'm going to actually walk you through on the web version can actually be assessed via the app. All right. Maybe if we have, if time permits us, when I, I finish explaining on the desktop, then we can switch to the app and see how that works. So right. um, I'll go to tools, then go to copy trading. Okay. Um, so here, if, if, if once we come in here to the copy trading land, landing page, first you see that there are different ways that Bybit has actually, uh, actually said, um, separated or categorized the traders here. Okay, so you have those traders, top traders by their return on investment, which is this one. Oh. It means that for the past um, seven days, these are the traders who have been topping when it comes to you know their their return on investment. So okay. you can actually check them out. And this the traders here are not like it's not constant. This week you could see different faces of traders. Next week you could see another traders and stuff like that. Yeah. So uh, yeah. that is why I always advise people if you want to manage your copy trading, it is not always good except you have somebody who is consistently making you profit. So you can follow that person again and again. But yeah. you can always lo look at this, you know, um, traders by their return on investment and follow them. The fact that these traders did very well last week is not a promise that they will do well this week. So it's it's mm. always like that, yes. Then when you scroll down, you see. Tanya, permit yes. me to interrupt you. But still, even if like, even if I don't, I I, I think it's even more perilous to constantly change the trader that you are copy trading from because if you are copy trading from a trader, a trader has a plan, yeah, and each plan is going to have its own period of a drawdown, right? Exactly. So if you go ahead to copy a trader and you end up like switching traders every single week, then you know for a, for a fact that you are probably setting yourself up for failure because at the end of the day, um, you will be jumping and you know the strategy every trader is using is kind of like different. So you might probably be messing up your entire capital because you're exposing it to too much. All right, now based on what you were saying, okay, I, I yeah. do agree with you that instead of changing traders every week, um, it will actually contribute to you um, incurring losses. But this is what I do. Mm -hmm. For instance, if I have $1,000 to copy mm -hmm. um, maybe one or two traders, mm -hmm. I'll come this week, I'll copy one or two traders, okay, maybe allocating $100 to each of those traders from mm -hmm. those who are topping when it comes to return on investment. I'll look at the traders mm -hmm. with the highest profit for followers. I will only mm -hmm. look at traders with the lowest uh, drawdown mm -hmm. and then, you know, um, all of these different categories that Bybit have here. I'll copy traders from mm -hmm. all of this. Mm -hmm. A week or two. Now look at their performance. The traders who are doing very well, I will return those traders. And those who are not doing very well, I will just, you know, unfollow them. And then maybe use the money and um, augment those that are doing very well. You understand? So in the process of copying traders, those, those who are doing well, I keep them, you know, add more funds to them. Then those who are not doing well, I will just unfollow them. I've been following a trader for a very long time now. And even with what happened, he was shorting after when BTC was pumping. And then he got mm. liquidated a lot. He has even lost everything he made for me. But I still follow that trader because for over two months or three months, I've been following that trader. He has been making profit consistently. But this one mm. lost actually scattered everything. And that is because some of these traders don't use stop loss. You, you mm. get, uh-huh. Mm. So you can follow traders based on, you know, what you see here, if there is any trader at all you have in mind, maybe you have the trader's name, you have the person's link and the rest, you can actually come in here and search for a trader that you want mm. to actually follow. So mm. um, if I search for, for instance, digital learner here, um, what's that my copy trading name again, sir? <laughs> so it, uh -huh, that is it so it comes up so it's not together so you just paste um digital in that um separately so it comes up so you, the can, money map. Uh, you can just uh, type and then start copying that particular trader if you have the trader in mind but if not you can look at what bybit is actually doing here and copy traders from you know um according to their ranking right mm -hmm. yes so Aside this, if I want to copy a trader here, for instance, let's say I want to copy this person, okay, and um, I'll go ahead and click on the trade, which will open up. 
though I, I think this person's um, trading room is filled up. Yes, you see full here. So I can no longer copy this trader. Wow. Uh, yes, I can no longer copy this trader. But once you click on it, you see the statistics for that trader. Okay. Uh, uh the, whatever you see, this is for the past seven days. This is what this trader has been able to make, and then you see the profit for followers. So, for this person, um, this trader has made five percent. For this person, you can see the cumulative profit and then the total arrow are here. So, if I scroll down Wait, here, you see the cumulative profit in USDT. Yes, the cumulative profit is in USDT, then it gives you the equivalent of that in the um the percentage as the return on investment you understand so uh and then if you scroll down here you see trading history it means that this person has been trading more of btc in fact 100 of his trade is btc okay and then he has carried out about 125 um 125 trades and out of this 125 trades you can see the profit and losses here that it is plus seven um, hundred and you know fifteen, and uh, another thing. Okay, yes, total asset trade. Some of the traders don't make this um you know visible. You can't assess this. It's always hidden. Some of them are always hiding this. But you see that this person has a thousand and um uh, one seventy six here. Okay, and then his yeah. profit sharing is ten percent. So yeah, uh, yeah you see, it means that for every profit this person makes for you, this trader makes for you. Is ten percent of that is going back to the trader. This is only when the trader makes a profit for you. So this is one good thing about copy trading. This trader can actually start copying or trading with it as little as hundred dollars. The trader doesn't need a million dollars or thereabout. But you that have one hundred thousand dollars, two hundred thousand dollars can actually copy this trader. And for every trade, this trader for every profit this trader makes for you, you share ten percent with the trader. Which is, uh, it means that if this trader has made uh, $4,000, for instance, for the followers, it means that 10% of this $4,000 is for that trader for, you know, mm -hmm. doing this good work for you. So if this mm -hmm. trader's um, room was vacant, I would have just clicked here on copy and would have stopped, start copying the trader. But uh, let's go for know, some. Wait, is it that, wait, is it set on autopilot? Uh, the copy trading. Yeah. Yes. Once you copy a trader, every other thing is handled. You don't need to do anything again. It's just when the trader takes a trade, it reflects in your account. When they close the trade, it reflects in your account, just like that. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh, wow. So yeah. that is why I want to look for somebody whose room is not filled up. Okay. This person's room is not filled up. So if I click on the person, oh. it opens up in a new tab. So here you can equally see the statistics. This trader has $4,000 in his account and his profit sharing is equally 10%. And then um, the trader currently have uh, uh, 280 followers. So we still have two slots left, as you can see here. Okay, so when you look at the trader statistics, you see that the trader has equally been consistent in making profit. You see the profit has made for those who are following and the trader is trading combination of BTC and um, Ethereum. So if you look at the, the history of his trade, you see uh, the, the trader, you can click on view or to see more. You can come up here to statistics for copied um, trades. You can see all of those statistics here. Okay. You can see the entry when he exited the market and all of that. So you see all of this here. And then the followers for that particular trader, when he took this trade, he has 29 followers. When he took this trade, he has 20 followers. When he took this trade, uh, he or so she you took this trade. Followed him inside the trade. Yes. You know, uh, so you see all of those. And then uh, now the, when it comes to copy, we'll go to, to that when I start copying. So we'll look at that. Uh, then you see followers. If you click on followers, you can equally see uh, the how many days this trader, these followers have been following these traders. You see all of that here. And then you see the total profit this each of these traders have received. So this trader is actually good because everybody is on, on the positive side. Okay, you see plus 100, plus 76 and the rest. And all, this all depends on how much the traders are actually copying the trader with. Okay, I think there is a colon for you to see that cumulative cost. You see the cumulative cost and... Uh, I don't think, okay. 
So once you are okay with it, you look at the statistics and you feel you can copy that trader, just go ahead and click on copy. So here on the copy, we have two options. Okay, here where it says smart mode, if I click on it, um, let me just close this. If I click on it, you have the advanced copy mode and then you have the smart mode. The smart mode is straightforward. All you just need to do is to add the funds you want to copy this trader with here. For instance, if I want to copy this trader with $50, I can just go ahead and type $50, which is actually the minimum you can copy a trader with. On uh, You need to have at least $50 to be able to copy a trader on, on the Bybit exchange, okay? So if I just put in $50 here, then you can use this option, this option that says copy stop loss. Now, what you put here, it means that if, for any trade you copy this trader with, once it gets to, let's say, minus $10, for instance, once it is minus $10, it automatically closes that trade for you, okay? So once the loss of your copy, uh, as you can see the description here, once the loss of your copy position exceeds 10 USDT, you will automatically stop copying the trader. Once you have stopped copying the trader, uh, your remaining positions will then you know, be immediately um, credited into your account and the rest. But I, I normally leave this open, okay? I don't put anything here. I normally leave this open. So if you want to use the Bybit um, copy guide, you can go ahead and check that on. If I hover over this help icon here, it says that followers will wait to copy and order at an optimal price if needed, instead of only opening a trade at the same time as the master trader. You yeah. get so yeah. there is every probability that this trader will open, let's say for a long position, open a long position for BTC at 27K. Yeah. But because of this buy bid copy trade um copy guard, you it will not be triggered at 27k in your account. Mm -hmm. Yours may be triggered maybe if the, the position keep going in, in, in the favor of that trader, yours may be triggered at 27,100. You get. Okay. And this will help to limit the losses you incur as well. But if you want to check it, you can go ahead and do that. And I have traders that I check this on. I have traders that I don't check this on. I've not really paid attention to how this works because I am not always there. I always check my trade maybe in the evening, see the performance and you know what know how to unfollow or follow some of the traders and the rest. Then if you click on more settings, you can now start adjust, adjusting your, your margin per contract, okay, daily, um, the daily position limit. If you want to use this, I, I leave all of this open, okay? Uh, for the okay. daily position limit, it means that if this trader takes 10 trade a day and then your margin um, per, per contract is $10 and you put, for instance, $50 here, if this trader has taken five trades, even if the trader continues to trade, the trader will no longer um, take trades on your account because it, uh, the trader has exceeded the amount of money you put in here. So if you put in 50 here, it means that the daily position limit, which you can see here, that once the trader reaches 50 USDT worth of position in a single day, you will automatically stop copying the trader for that day. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, but I leave this open. All right. Then for mm -hmm. the margin per contract, when the trader reaches a position margin of whatever you put here, for instance, if I put $10, okay? So when it reaches 10 USDT in a single contract, you will automatically stop copying that trader for that. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason for this is when, one thing I've noticed is that when these traders are trading, they can open like 50 different positions in just one trade. So okay. let's assume that every of those positions is costing you $10. Every of those positions is costing you $10. As the trader continues to open those positions, if you put $10 here, it means that if the trader opened 50 positions, he can only open one position for you. Yeah, for you. Uh -huh. But if you put it like 1,000 or thereabout, then for those 50 or 100 positions where the trader wants to open it to open for you, the reason what the traders are doing actually is dollar cost averaging in their trading. This uh -huh. So as the market is dropping, they are buying more. As the market is dropping, they are buying more. So if, for instance, their take profit is at, uh, let's say they are estimating to take profit at 27K, because they have bought the uh, uh, dollar cost or used the uh, Martingo style, style of trading to 26, when it comes up, they may not necessarily close the trade at 27. So before 27, they will close all of the position and you will still be in profit. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So when you start copying mm -hmm. a trader, when the trader start opening a position, if you go and check your your orders, I don't know if my mm -hmm. trader is open has opened any position. You see that some of the trades will be in profit, some will be at loss at the rest. But when you mm -hmm. come to the you know derivative trading option, you see that it's just one single position. But okay. in the copy trading aspect, is multiple positions. So these are what okay. all of these do for you. If you want to put okay. stop loss, you can use the slider here. Okay, yeah. depending on your risk tolerance, if you want to always, um, you know, put a stop loss when the market goes against you by 10%, okay, you can slide it to what you want. And then your take profit, if you want it to be, whenever the market goes in your favor by 100%, you will slide that, okay? And then for the slippage, um, if you want to use this, you can use it, but I don't adjust any of this. I just leave it up, um, you know, blank because I want the trader to do their thing and then I'll base my judgment on their trade. Okay, this is with the smart option. So if you're okay with it, just check here and then click on copy now and you can start copying the trader with this amount, all right? Yeah. Then mm -hmm. if I switch to the advanced mode, so the advanced mode here gives you the option to for the phone to copy. You can equally put the amount you want to copy the trader with here. Then if you want to use this option, you can go ahead. Okay, the copy stop loss option, you can go ahead. Then we click on next. For the next um, page here, we have a fixed margin. Margin fixed, if I put um, 10 here, okay, I'll go ahead and put $10 there. That your margin for each copy position is going to be $10, all right? So um, that is what the margin. So it means that the maximum position this trader can open because remember in the first page, I put $50, right? So the maximum trade or position this trader can open is five trades, okay, uh, and so on. So then um, the next, the next one here is the leverage settings. All right. So the, remember in the previous one, it didn't give us the option to set leverage, but here you have the option to set leverage. So you can follow the trader's leverage. You can use a fixed leverage. You can use a custom leverage. So following the trader leverage means that if the trader is trading with, you know, 100x leverage, you're equally trading at that, you know, um, instance with the trader. If I use fixed leverage, I can put my own leverage here. So let's say I put 5x leverage. It means that even if this trader is trading with 100x leverage and so on, whenever it copies on my account, my own account will be 5x leverage. This equally helps you to save, you know, um, save save you from a, a lot of losses and yeah, rest. Unnecessary risk. Exactly. So if you want to use custom leverage, then you can set leverage for each of these pairs that okay, are okay. you know tradable on the copy trading. Now copy trading is not open for those who are doing copy trading, it is not every token that they will trade. That is why you see majority of the traders focus on BTC, etc. Okay, it's not every mm -hmm. token that is listed on the buy bid leverage. Um derivative market that you can trade on copy trading. So I always advise that you use a fixed leverage and then, you know, anything between five to 10 X leverage and stuff like that. So this is why the advance is different from, because you have the option to optimize, um, you know, set up your leverage and the rest. And if you're okay with that, let's, let me just copy this trade and see what happens. So I just go ahead and click on confirm. Wait, so you set all of these usually? Yes, I do. Um, yeah. did he confirm what did he say? Advanced margin 10, 5x leverage. Okay, so most settings you have maximum position per contract. I don't do this, maximum daily position limit. I don't do all of this. Okay, I don't do this. I will allow the trader to do their thing because I've looked at their statistics. So I, I don't want to put stop loss, I don't want to put you know maximum all of those you know holders. I don't want to do that. I'll just go ahead and click on copy now. And that will start copying the trader. So I'm already copying this trader. I can cancel my copy trading. I can okay. click on copy trading settings to adjust the settings again and all of that. Now, if I want to take a look at my trades, okay, the copy trading option. So what I can do is um, to go to, uh, if I come back again to tools, click on copy trading. You have the option where it says my copy trading, right? So I'll go ahead and click on that. Once I click on my copy trading, it brings you to this interface. Here you see, um, you know, all of the statistics of the traders you've been following. So the dashboard just shows you a general overview of what you've made, the profit, the losses you've incurred. And then if I go to master trader, okay, 
So here on the master trader, you see, this is the person I just copied, but this is the trader I've been using. I've been copying a lot of traders actually, but I just decided to unfollow them and then started copying this trader. The reason for that is because this trader has been doing very well. So I decided to stick with the trader. So I just removed all the money from other traders and then gave it to this mm -hmm. trader. So this, mm -hmm. this loss here was when BTC was pumping, you know, uh, when it dropped from, I think, 25 to, was it 20, 19,000? This guy started shorting. Mm -hmm. But from that 19,000, Bitcoin went to, you know, 27, where we are right now. So that was why I incurred this loss. So this is this trader. So I'll look at them once, you know, um, the trader is doing well. For instance, this one I'm copying with $50. If the trader do well, I can come in here and say increase investment. Okay. And I can add more funds to this trader. And then the trader will start trading. All right. If I want to look at yeah. the orders, I'll click on orders. Now, if there is a, 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 an order or a current order, or, or maybe the trade, there are open trades that this trader have, you will see all of them here where it says copy trade. You'll see all of them here. But, Sir Leonard, Sir Leonard. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Could you go back to um, dashboard? Okay. No, no, master trader, master trader. So yeah, it says PN, your p l is $160. And then your realized profit share is 15 USDT. How's it? Say again, I didn't get that. I said like your P and L. Yes. Your P and L is 160 USDT and your realized profit share is 15 USDT. What does that mean? It means that this is what the trader has made from my account. You know, it's, I think this trader is 10% profit share. Yeah, 10% profit share. For every profit the trader makes for me, he gets 10%, he or she gets 10%. So this okay. means that this is what the trader has made for, you know, whatever profit the trader has made for me so far. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I get it. So uh, uh, then if I want to increase, okay, I can just click on increase to add more force to that. I think basically this is what, then if you want to check the history of your trades, you can go to history and see all of the history of your trades. Yes. Okay. And um, what is again, basically this is just what you do. You can go back to master trader and follow any of this trader. If you don't want to follow them again, if you click on details, you have the option to, you know, to cancel your mm -hmm. trees with this person mm -hmm. so here we say cancel copy and you can just go ahead and cancel that if you want then if you want to copy more traders you can come back here normally i do people with the lowest drawdown okay because mm -hmm. you know if they have the lowest drawdown it means that they are their risks and the rest are very minimal and yeah. uh yeah because for instance if i use the if i use the the smart copy mode that does not allow you to adjust your leverage to copy a trader, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. I, I don't have the option to uh, to copy, to adjust my leverage because I'm mm -hmm. using smart um, copy mode. When mm -hmm. when that happens, if the drawdown, you know, for that particular trader is very high, mm -hmm. it means that you could be losing a lot, right? Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Because like the trader he copied that has been doing very well for me, the, the mm -hmm. highest he trade with is six, six S leverage. You know, he trade at times mm -hmm. five S leverage, at times six S leverage, and you know his profit is consistent and stuff like that. So, yes, well, this trader has a very large capital in his account, and he has made some money for the followers. Mm -hmm. okay. So, yeah, and this trader trades a lot. Okay, FTM, GRT, Terra. Mm -hmm. BTC has incurred a lot of losses in BTC actually. So um, that is basically everything you need to know about the copy trading option. So um, I don't know if there, if there is any question, fine. But if not, uh, if we open that with the phone, I think is the the walkthrough is still the same thing. So do I do I need to open it on the phone? Is it? Um... No, no, no. I don't think that's necessary. I just want okay. to. Open. All right. I, I'm noticing that people don't usually follow the people with lowest drawdowns like that. Well, I'm uh, at, yeah, I'm they don't. People with higher profits. People are kind of following people with higher profits and people with lower drawdowns, and I think that's wrong. That's weird. <laughs> it's weird. 
No, people are attracted by what they see, actually. You know? Yeah. And moreover, Bible has equally uh, planted that in people's mindset because the top traders are ranked by their return on investment. Right? Mm. Mm -hmm. So people yeah. want, if this person has been able to make 121% in the past seven days, why not copy this? Do you know 121 for 100,000 account, 50,000, even 10,000 account? Maybe if you are trading with for instance, you're like trading with 50x leverage. That is a lot of money. You understand? If you are trading, yeah. trading with 20x leverage, 25x leverage, that is a lot of money. So people want to always focus on, you know, these people that are ranking first year, right? Mm -hmm. Nobody cares about this other trade. If this trader now does well and then um, rank, okay, rank up here, then they can equally start following, following them. Mm -hmm. So traders should always try. If you become, right here where it says become a copy trader, okay? If you become a copy trader, if you want to get traders, not necessarily those in your community or those you have referred to by bid, because the copy trading here is not, is not just those who you, you know, in your community that can copy your trade. Anybody can copy your trade. Just make sure that your return, um, you know, you're having winning trades. If you have winning trades consistently, You'll be surprised at the amount of money people can be copying your trade with. I have a trader here who made over two million dollars, right? In one, in, in 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 I don't know. The trader is no longer here, but something happened that that trader equally lost more than two million dollars. I think I made a short video about that, right? So mm -hmm. that, that, those kind of traders had people who were copying him with, you know, hundred k, two hundred k, three hundred k, and stuff like that, and the trader was good. But all of a sudden, some, something happened, and then, uh, you know, this trader should try to be copying, you know, to be doing um, trading with stop loss, stop loss. Anyway, I'm, I'm advising people. I don't trade with stop loss, actually. So I'm not in a position to advise somebody to trade with stop loss. You don't trade with stop loss? I don't. Charlie, <laughs> not <laughs> I don't because I do more of scalping actually and I trade on isolated isolated mode so if for instance I raise hundred dollars in a trade I just give the trade a room to you know the, um, you know play around because one thing I've noticed often is that you know BTC the volatility equally affects us a lot of tra um, traders as well because you put stop loss before you know it goes and pick your stop loss and then the next thing is going in your favor taking your take profit one, take profit two, take profit three and stuff like that. So yeah. I, I, if I'm risking hundred dollars in a trade, I just said, okay, I'm, I'm risking that. If he hits my, if I get liquidated, fine. But if not, let, let's see how it plays out. If it plays out well in my favor, fine. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, mm. I think what I, I think I need to watch the recording of the video again, because the, the part where you explained the smart and the smart copy trading and all of those parameters here. Yeah. I would like to see how they work again here yeah. and then try to decide. Because me, I personally feel like I'll be following, I'll be following um, people who have good ROIs and people who have like um, very small drawdowns, maybe like one or two. Okay. So, yeah, just so, if you have, if you have like a, um, 200, for instance, you can follow four different traders from, you know, whatever uh, buy bid has categorized them on, okay? Then allocate $50, 50 to them, monitor their trade. Yes, monitor their trades for a week or two. And then the result will tell you that, oh, this trader, you can stick with this person or you want to discard this person and stuff like that. So just like that, you are good to go.